Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, April 20th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So this is just because this is a reading that's dated for the 20th of April, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading okay so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't i want to wish you guys a very happy 420 for those of you that are in the know do the do yo you know what i mean like ew, enjoy and i want to wish those of you that actually have a birthday on the 20th of april a very very happy birthday one of my friends Vinny, who you guys should know well, some of you would know if you were in on happy hour, what was it, two weeks ago or something? But he popped in just to say hi and be his silly self. Um, so I want to wish Vinny a very happy birthday, 111, ha ha ha, on the counter. Woo. Um, but so happy birthday to those of you that have a birthday on 420. That's pretty awesome. I will be joining the festivities later on today as soon as I finish all of my work. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Alrighty. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I did get a Twin Flame reading out. That's up. I did that yesterday, so that can be found on the channel. But yeah, let's just get straight into this and see what we've got for today. Tee -hee. Okay. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, April 20th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to give this three shuffles. Um, I did, I do want to say that as I was praying and collecting the energies and, you know, sending them into the deck for the reading for today, I did see purple. Um, purple, in my opinion, or purple for me as a reader is representative of higher wisdom, higher knowledge. Um, when I think of purple, I think of the high priestess, um, spiritual universal wisdom um downloads coming through um i know there have been there were a few moments actually over the weekend where i experienced some pretty intense ringing in my ears um intermittently that is often a sign that you are integrating or downloading some sort of new energy or some sort of new programming or just some new knowledge, some wisdom, some insight. Or you could be going through a shift. There could be an adjustment that's happening within you. Ascension symptoms, I guess you could call it. Yeah, the, the ringing would be an ascension symptom, but I often hear that a lot. So for the collective um, with this purple energy, okay, so uh, there's a lot of, there could have been a lot of downloads, a lot of understanding that you came to either recently or maybe over the past weekend. <clears throat> Um, and now spirit is leading me to green. So there are downloads in, associated with the heart chakra. Um, understandings of certain dynamics of certain relationships could be integrating, could be coming into view for you. I really kind of feel like for some of you, there's a fog that's lifting um, and you're better equipped to see things from a higher point of view. Maybe you've gone through a purging process recently or a healing process. Something may have been triggered for you recently that kind of threw you for a loop for a while. Um, and now that fog is starting to lift. It doesn't mean that it's any easier to, mm, I want to say that it doesn't mean it's any easier to deal with, but at the same time, it kind of is. Maybe it's not any less painful. However, you're able to handle the pain, the pain much better. I'm just getting, a, I'm getting an understanding of just having a higher vision, um, or a, I think better put, a higher point of view in terms of all of the things that you may be going through right now. That could be leading to um, 
I want to say a settling of your heart, but it also really kind of feels like a settling of the emotions. What I'm getting, what I'm seeing now is like the two of swords energy, traditionally depicted as a, a woman or an individual who's blindfolded, has two swords crossing their chest, and they are like sitting. This is the this is the traditional Rider Waite depiction. They're sitting on the rocks, on some rocks in like the middle of the ocean. But what I'm seeing, um, <clears throat> And seeing like that the ocean is calming down, is settling down. So your emotions might be finally starting to subside, the, or at least the extreme emotions might be starting to subside and you're starting to be able to maybe see clearer or just settle down a bit so that you can get a hold on yourself mentally. Okay, wow, that was interesting. All right, so let's see, what do we've got for today, Spirit? What is on the docket today for our Monday, April 20th, 2020 for the collective? What do you want to discuss with us today, Spirit? The Page of Cups. Okay, so yes, um, the Eight of Cups. All right. Interesting. Yeah, so there's something that's being left behind. There's something that you've already left behind. Um, I'm feeling like there's... Um, you might be in a in a and like I was saying before. Oh, okay. But I, like I was saying before, you might be able to deal with the emotions. Yep, there's the Queen of Cups. Okay, you might be able to better deal with your emotions between the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. I'm feeling this energy of um um exploring your emotions more. You have that with the Three of Cups now. That's a lot of cup energy, you guys. So yeah, there is a, there is definitely a lot of emotion here that I'm hearing is subsiding. Um, so with the Eight of Cups and the Queen of Cups here, it seems that you've walked away from something. You've left you've left something behind. It was a very emotional thing for you. Um, it was not an easy thing to 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 let go of, to move away from, to 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 leave behind. But it seems with this Queen of Cups here, it seems that you have become more emotionally stable, emotionally grounded with the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups here. The Page of Cups representing an energy of being able to explore your emotions, um, getting more in tune with your emotions, um, understanding them better, maybe even working on maturing your emotions. There is a celebration here with the Three of Cups. The universe is congratulating you. The universe has been congratulating us a lot with this Three of Cups lately, but it seems here that because you're able to, at least able and willing, more so willing, I will say that the strongest thing is that you're actually willing to, to turn over a new leaf, to start over, to make a change, to see your, 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 your dreams and your emotions from a different perspective. That's what you, the universe is congratulating you with here with this Three of Cups. There's also an energy, I just got a flash of blue. So there is an energy of forgiveness. You may be in the process of being able to forgive, which is why you're able to dive into these emotions or why you're able to express them or why you're able to explore them much easier than you have been before. So there's some more congratulation on for you on behalf of the universe, but also the Three of Cups or the Three of Summer Oh, sorry. It's been glary. You haven't been able to see it. The Three of Summer um, is also saying that you have a support team around you. And Spirit is saying sp uh, uh, specifically a spiritual support team. Do not forget that you don't have to handle all of this by yourself. Okay. That's a reminder there. So next we have the, ooh, the Queen of Wands. Oh, shit. With the King of Swords. Okay. We do have the magician at the bottom of the deck here. So yeah, it definitely seems like you've grown a lot from this. You've walked away, you got your emotions in check, or at least you understand, you have a greater understanding of the emotional reality with this situation, which is probably helping you move away continuously, continue to move away. And it seems that you've gotten some good amount of confidence. Um, I really feel like you're in a mode right now, and, and, and I understand you have the, these queens here and the and this king we're not talking about gender here okay we're talking about energy so I, I i feel like you've really gotten yourself in a sense of like look i know what it is i want or i'm confident now or at least i'm not going to let anything stop me from getting what it is that i want there's a there's a certain level of tenacity and determination that's coming through with this queen of swords that is only being fueled 
to be honest i'm sorry not the queen of swords the queen of wands but this queen of wands energy is really only being fueled or is being further fueled by the king of swords energy because the king of swords energy is what is helping you decipher it's what's helping you get to this point where you can be like okay well i can accept an apology or i'm more apologetic or just forgiveness okay but it's about seeing things clearly and that's what was coming through with the queen of cups as well getting getting your emotional balance in check is allowing you not only to build your confidence or just be more more have more faith in yourself is what I'm hearing, but it's also allowing you to see things clearly and work through things in a logical manner, which is then influencing you or leading you here to this magician energy, creating something new, manifesting, specifically manifesting through the contrast. I want to get a little, I'm, I'm being guided to pull one more. So just one more card, please, spirit for this, for the collective right now. Uh, this ha this very well could have to do with family. That's something that I'm picking up on here. Uh, I mean, but I'm I'm the strongest thing I'm hearing is just leaving. Okay, well there we have it. Leaving the past behind. I'm gonna leave it there. I only wanted one more card, but Spirit was like, no no no, Eric, one more pull. Well look at what we have here. Now we have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So he, yeah. First of all, we, it seems it seems that you're handling this from a very balanced place from the balance between the masculine and the feminine energy at least the, you have the counterparts in that of passion which is perfect that's exactly what you need and by that i mean the king of wands and the queen of wands they're very very passionate individuals very headstrong very confident um I'm hearing secretive. You could there could be some secrets here maybe the 7 of swords is out i don't know but um well, okay, they're secretive in the sense that they know what it is they want and they're not really trying to to talk too much about it mainly because they don't they don't need anyone else's approval. So you could be coming across as very secretive right now, but it's just it really honestly, it's just that you're focused and it's just that you're seeing things very clearly with this King of Swords energy here. All right. You have the Eight of Pentacles, beautiful, with, oh, temperance, oh, and the world, wow. Oh, that's beautiful, you guys. You really have done some serious, serious work. You know, uh, and this isn't, this really isn't a surprise to me, because this has been the, the, the um, focus of my channel ever since I started it, back in 2018, yes, um, but this is very indicative of working on the balance, the balance between masculine and feminine energy, the, 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 the alchemy here. Okay. You guys are really, I'm, I'm going to have to, I'm going to say, look, those, and I guess this is mainly those of you that have been with me for like the OGs, right? Y'all have been with me for a while. I want to say at least a year, um, congratulate yourself. Congratulations, because you guys are really, really doing this work and balancing out this masculine and feminine energy. With that said, I, if you're not a patron of mine on Patreon yet, you, I, I highly recommend that you do so, especially if, you know, this balance between masculine and feminine energy is, within you is resonating with you, because that's coming through on Patreon a lot, especially in the Twin Flame readings. I don't do like the massive collective ones on Patreon. I do the specific individual ones, looking in specifically Divine Feminine and looking into specifically Divine Masculine. And the last ones that I did this past weekend are like, like the masculine and feminine energies are so in sync for those of you that that would resonate with. Um, and so you don't have to have been a patron to resonate with that. Um, energy is way more intelligent that, than that. So there the, it is intended for those that would resonate with it. So if you're feeling inclined to do so, maybe some of you have been a little bit on the fence about it recently. Um, this I, I'm, I'm saying all this to say that this could very well be confirmation for you that you are part of this okay because because look uh, or at least i'm sorry part of the, the the collective that i'm channeling for on patreon because look you have the eight of pentacles here the eight of pentacles or in this deck the eight of autumn is talking about the craftsmanship is talking about the consistency the maybe even discipline okay yeah to 
to, to craft, to, to create, to, to master something, right? This, the Eight of Pentacles can represent the process of mastering something. And here you go. You have the world, which is a closing out of a cycle, a completion, and you have balance, temperance, balancing the masculine and feminine energies, balancing two opposing or two different things to make them into an, a greater whole, right? You're moving forward very, very strongly. Very strongly. You've got a lot. You're doing, you're doing a lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say you are actively doing the inner work. I mean, obviously, we were just talking about that with the Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Autumn. But what I'm looking at now, the Queen of Spring and the Queen of Summer, Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups, these are both internal energies. These are both receptive energies. What I'm seeing is the feminine is, is, is setting the stage. She takes care of the inner work, right? Whereas the masculine goes out and does the external at part of the job. You do have masculine working on the internal. And I would, I would rather see the King of Swords be your advocate for your internal work than any of the other kings. Kings because the King of Swords is the diplomat. The King of Swords is the judge, is the is the objective one, is the one that looks at all the pieces, looks at things from every different angle that he can until he sufficiently has come to his understanding. And the King of Swords is working on your behalf alongside the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Summer. I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups are setting the stage internally. The King of Summer is we'll call it the administrator, the internal liaison, the king of wands. I'm sorry, the king of the king of swords. Did I say the king of summer? The king of swords, right, is working on the internal. The king of wands or the king of spring spring is like the face, is standing on the outside, taking the information from within and continuing the trajectory. That is beautiful. That is so, so beautiful. Okay. Gosh, excuse me. All right. So um, let's get into some clarification here. I want to look at the King of Wands, which is at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy right now. Let's look at this King of Wands energy, please. And then we'll look at some other things. Um, I think I want to go to the King of Swords after that. All right. So... King of Wands. What does this King of Wands energy have to say for us, please, Spirit? What is this King of Wands? Eight of Cups. You're really determined to leave the past behind. Page of Wands in reverse. The Six of Cups. Okay, the Page of Wands is in reverse. You have the Six of Cups and you have it with the Two of Swords. Uh, wow. With the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you guys are really aggressively, someone here is really aggressively leaving the past behind. You have the Eight of Cups here, right? Which is talking about walking away. You do have that twice, right? You have that with the Page of Wands. And what that getting to me, or what, wow, <clears throat> what that what that getting to me? That was great English, Eric. <laughs> what that's saying to me is there is no new start. There is no chance for re-identification. There's no chance of re-rebranding. Maybe this is a business opportunity for you. Um, there's no chance of, con uh, of of reigniting things, of starting over, starting anew, revamping. The no, no. It literally is just time to walk away and not even look at the past. Two of Swords with the Six of Cups, not even look at the past. Now, this is the Two of Swords that I was talking about in the beginning of the reading. You see how you see how she's blindfolded, right? She's got these two swords hold, uh, across her chest and she's sitting on a body of water. Now, what I was seeing in the beginning of the reading was this water, she's sitting here and this water is like settling down. So your emotions, you're, you could very well be in this place where you're finally you're finally able to see straight king of swords you're finally able to see straight you're finally able to see exactly what it is that's going on around you or at least your emotions have have settled enough for you to start making some moves for you to start taking action and this is aggressive action knight of swords it's like you guys this is like my bat out of hell energy yeah so it's like you guys are really try, are aggressively trying to get away from this 
move on, leave the past behind. I, I'm hearing see it differently too. So this Knight of Swords energy could be an advocate for you to really cut away a lot of the bullshit that maybe some of the, that the King of Swords energy might be identifying here for you. So with that said, I actually want to go to the King of Swords next. <clears throat> so what does the King of Swords have to say in all of this? Five of Cups. Yep. Okay. Wow. You guys, whatever that is, whatever you're walking away, this really could be a creative project, a business project. Um, it could be uh, some group effort. It doesn't have to be creative or business. It could just be family, something. But that's what that's something very strong that's coming through. This is this has to do at least has to do with a, at least one other person. All right. But this path is over. Look, three of wands has fallen in reverse on this pile that's talking about the king of wands energy in which you're walking away. You have on top of the king of swords to come. Uh, now that, that this did come out while I was clarifying the king of swords. But you also have with that the five of cups, the knight of cups and the page of pentacles. It's time to start over. It's time to yell with the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Y'all are making some executive decisions here. Okay, and what this King of Swords energy is saying is like, look, all right, look, enough is enough. It's time to stop crying over spilled milk. It's time to get in. Yeah, see, I didn't even want to hold that Five of Cups anymore. It's time to get moving on what, get started on what our heart is guiding us towards and turn over a new leaf. Literally just start something over. You could, there could have been a project that you guys have been working on with someone, with another, with, I, I, I really do feel like this has some sort of community feeling. It doesn't have to. Again, this is a general reading. But it feels like there is a project here or a goal that was in mind that is being completely scrapped. Completely scrapped. And I feel like you're moving on by yourself. There's a very independent energy that's coming through here with this. Especially with this emperor energy here. All right. But you've made, you've made, a, I mean, you're a class act is what I'm hearing. Like you've made a class A decision, something that has, was very, very difficult for you to make. And even from a logical standpoint, it was difficult to make. Because you have this King of Swords here. So it's not like you could just be like Queen of Swords and be like, oh, oh no, I'm not even giving this a second thought. We're out of here. No, it took some deliberation. For sure. Internally, yes. Okay. So with that said, let's talk about the world. Let's talk about the world here. What is closing out? Why are things closing out? What's going on? Ooh, the tower. Good lord, y'all. Good lord. I want this one, too. And the moon. Okay. Ten of swords is in reverse. The five of wands is in reverse. Woo! Look at that with the tower and the moon. So check it out. And look, all of this is still falling on. Yes, we're clarifying the world. We're clarifying what's closing out here for you. But all of this is falling on the king of wands, which is talking about your drive to move forward. There is an end of a toxic cycle. Look, five of wands is in reverse. First of all, you're not at odds with yourself about this anymore. You're not dealing with any sort of internal conflict anymore. If there is any, if there are, excuse me, any sort of voices in, that are still in the back of your mind trying to, you know, read you the riot act, you're not even listening any longer because you are finally done with this. Ten of Swords is in reverse. And actually this, the Ten of Swords in, being in reverse, yes, is symbolizing something being completed and over and done. But what I'm also getting from this and this could, this doesn't have to be for everybody, but with the Ten of Swords in reverse, there could have been a struggle to really release yourself from this cycle because there was still some sort of illusion involved. Now, with the moon, but also the moon is representing your emotions, okay? So this was a very emo this was a very emotional ending, but let me tell you, it's something that was necessary absolutely necessary there was like it's like there was no denying it any longer you have the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here so you are slowly but surely moving on let's get a little bit on this tower energy because this tower has been coming out a lot oh god the king of pentacles in reverse yikes and the ace of wands okay seven of whoa the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so yeah, the King of so so this Tower energy here, 
is represented by the king of wands i'm sorry the king of pentacles in reverse so there could have been a masculine figure or um, a physical male or um it could be it could very well be the establishment i'm kind of getting a bit of a community energy with this king of pentacles even though it's us this in the card it's a singular person i'm feeling like there's a little bit of a hive mind mentality here but we're talking about the established circumstances the established situation this actually is also kind of resonating as a boss um someone that is in control maybe maybe your supervisor maybe your boss maybe the team leader uh maybe a parent patriarch or matriarch okay we're talking energy we're not talking gender here um but someone that was very fixed someone that was very grounded something someone that was very rooted but i'm also getting the patriarchy or the establishment our society and the way that our society is very currently rooted and grounded in certain principles and certain ways of life it seems that you are over this now now. King of Pentacles energy, whatever this represents for you, either it's a very controlling individual in your life or it's just the controlling nature of society as it currently stands. But something about this, you're done. You're over it. And you've gotten, and, and I will say the beauty in all of this is that it has in fact inspired you with this Ace of Wands to move in a very, very, very different direction. And you are not trying to look back. Seven of Wands, the, pff, no boundaries. Like, uh uh, we ain't going back there. We are moving on slowly but surely. And I really do feel like with this Knight of Pentacles energy, you are in a much better place to accept the slow but steady nature of the pet of the Knight of Pentacles. Because I really do feel like you've learned throughout all of this somehow in the process. You've really learned the value in taking things slow and doing things step by step, piece by piece, day by day. At the oh, Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. And this is definitely reading as a very much against all odds energy. You were you were getting out of this re regardless of what it took, okay? And this is not, this doesn't, I mean, even though you might be happy, well, happier now than you were in the past, you may even be happy that you are out of this situation, but it is, it was not cute. This is bittersweet. No one really wins here. Okay, so while there's relief in the fact that you're, you've successfully navigated your way out of this, even if it's just emotionally and mentally, which is actually one of the first steps to really get yourself moving, um, there has been a separation here. There has been, you're moving away from something. So there is happiness, there's relief because you're moving away, because you're getting yourself out of a really rough or toxic situation. Um, but there's still a little bit of sorrow. Five of Cups. All is not lost, sure, but you did lose some stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I want to move to the Golden Universal Tarot right now, and I just want to get you some advice moving forward here. Yeah. Just some advice moving forward. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle, and let's just I kind of want to get a little bit of a prediction. And then many of you know I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't intend to be a fortune teller, but I'm feeling like I want to give you guys a little bit of insight as to what could be coming on down the road here. All right, so let's let's get in on that. As you're moving for, oh damn, look at that, y'all, look at that. King of Wands has just fallen right back out on this pile. And what that is saying to me is keep your head up. Just keep moving. Do not look back. Do not even waste your time or energy looking back. And next we have the Queen. Oh my goodness. The Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. All right, look. Don't look back king of wands all right but don't lose the compassionate value do not lose your understanding of your emotions do not allow your your ego to get too far in the way and start changing the, the the understanding the emotional understanding that you come towards all of this what this is also saying is with the queen of cups energy maintain your emotional understanding in terms of what it is that you want because you're on your way there Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Stay independent. Stay a free thinker. You have gone through so much already. This is not the time for you to fall back on 
what other people say or think you should do or how you should be, how you should act, who you should talk to, who you should date, what work you should be doing, what job offers you should be taking. No, 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 this is your decision. And you're very much in alignment with it. With the Queen of Cups, you have a bit greater understanding of what it is you want. You also have more emotional stability. King of Wands, you have the direction, the vision, the guidance. You are ready to go as soon as the green, as soon as you get that green light. Ten of Cups is your focus. Let's get a little bit more, please, Spirit. Some advice here. Seven of Wands is in reverse. Interesting. We have the Seven of Swords. Oof, the Seven of Wands is in reverse. The Knight of Wands and the Eight of Swords. That's interesting. And the Lovers is at the bottom of the deck here. Interesting. Give me a second, guys. Let me, let me sit with this for a second. Because I feel like this is almost a warning. Ah, yes, this is a warning. Um, seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, right? But with the Knight of Wands upright. The only thing is that the Seven of Wands is reversed. Do not let down your guard. There are some people that could be coming in to try and sway you, to, to, to tell you, you know, we are here to help you, um, talking a big game, trying to sell you something. If it doesn't feel right, Trust your intuition here. You have, you are in the pole position. You have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. You are in fact in the pole position. You hold the chips. Okay. The choice is always yours. Do not let your guard down seven of wands in reverse and allow someone to, to deceive you and back you into a corner. Seven of swords, eight of swords. Continue your trajectory. I understand this is something new because with, with the, with the Knight of Wands, this is coming through as you are activated, you have a vision, you you have a dream, you have a way to go, but there's there's still a little, there's a, there's a, a, a bit of an energy of a of lack of maturity here. That's not something to be ashamed of. It's because you're new to this. You're new to this level. Page of Pentacles is what I'm pointing at right now, okay? But don't let someone deceive you. Don't let someone take advantage of this, this minuscule, this small sense of, um, what's the word? Uh, naivete, 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 being naive. I never know how to pronounce that word. Anyway, it's very interesting. Keep your trajectory going. Stay bright eyed and bushy tailed. All right. I want to get a little bit more on that, please, spirit. But you have the, ultimately you, the choice is yours. The lovers, you can either choose vice which is what everyone else wants or virtue which is what your heart wants okay the choice is always yours don't let anybody sway you but let's get a little bit more just a little bit more please spirit for this deceptive type energy anything else you want to say to that all right page of swords in reverse nine of swords in reverse Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Overall energy is the Nine of Pentacles. All right, look, there are people that are watching you. There are in there. This is this may not be for everybody. This is I'm hearing this is a pretty specific message, but there are people, individuals around you that are watching you, that are not giving up that are going to try and sabotage you. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that they're trying to stop your progress. And they're, they're, I mean, Nine of Wands in reverse is giving me an energy of not giving up, but this is an energy of, it's like, resistance is futile, but that's not you. They're the ones resisting. And there's impetulance here with this Page of Swords in reverse. It's like they're trying, they're trying to exhaust every single thing that they can to stop you and it may be that they've already gotten to this point where it's like we have no more options but we're gonna we're going to foolishly continue to try and push and stop things from happening but that's going to cause a great amount of detriment to them like it's one thing to 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 to, f to to flesh out the contract and to do what it is you need to do and to to rack up the karma from that sure okay but what i feel like is happening here is these people are going overboard 
and the more and the further and further and the further that they push the more and more nasty negative karma that they rack up and it, it's exponential you guys um so again so that was more of a i guess that was more of a warning for some individuals that could be cross watching here um with an understanding of trying to get you know some information on someone that maybe resonates with my readings here or something like that 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 definitely feels like it's a, it's a warning for a cross watcher it's like the more you try the more you try and sabotage somebody's self the more and more detriment you are going to rack up for your own self so at some point it would behoove you to sit take a sip step back and be like okay but is this really worth it for me to do any longer for those for there are some out there where i'm picking up on it's like they're they these pe these individuals are like empty vessels and they have um dark beings that are kind of controlling them manipulating them into this so they i guess they don't really have a choice but maybe me saying this to you will wake you up to that and you can take your power back and in in fact have a choice and be like you know what i've had enough i'm done with all racking up all this nasty karma i'm done with trying to sabotage people hey that's entirely possible okay mm. wow all righty oracle message i'm being drawn to the dragons today so we're going to get some oracle guidance from the dragons. All right. Oracle guidance to close out this reading. All right, dragons. Beautiful, lovely dragons. What do you have for us? To close out this reading for today. They are saying all of those. All right, so let's see, dragons. First card out, which is upright, or um, I'm sorry, face up. We have air and water dragon. Helps to connect you to higher frequencies. Trust your intuition. Develop your psychic abilities. Be open to enlightenment. Express your inner song. Um, definitely trust your intuition here. Okay, see things clearly, see things as they truly are. You do have that King of Swords energy with you that's going to lead you, guide you along the way. Now we have Water Dragon, helps you flow easily around obstacles. Christ, light, and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities, go with the flow. Again, psychic ability, okay? The Queen of Cups came out twice here, all right? So that's definitely an intuitive psychic energy. All right, so trust, again, trust your intuition. And finally, we have white gold dragon from Lyria connects you to the highest Christ light. Develop your causal or uh, uh, no, develop your causal chakra. Bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. I want to read this card here, but the strongest message that the dragons are bringing forward for you um, is maintain your compassionate energy, maintain your understanding or the point of view that you've cultivated in seeing things from a higher perspective, from a zoomed out point of view, from a wider framed point of view. Work to see as much of the intricacies of this situation as you can, because that's going to help you not only um, cultivate and continue in this understanding of what's going on, but it's also going to help you stay in a compassionate energy because you're going to really recognize all of the different reasons why things are happening, which is going to allow you to be more open to the fact that this is not in any way, shape or form personal. <clears throat> no matter what negativity you could be facing with this, it is not personal. All right. It has more to do with them than it does with you. I'm going to read the white gold dragon here. Okay, white gold dragon from Lyria. Lyria is the cross-shaped cross 12th dimensional stargate through which Archangel Christiel and the unicorns enter the, our universe. The light from Lyria pours down through the moon, allowing scintillation, I'm sorry, scintillating seventh dimensional dragons to step through to the vibration of Earth. Step into the vibration of Earth. 
These white gold dragons embody the highest frequency of Christ's light available to everyone on this planet. They work closely with Archangel Christiel, who is in charge of the development of the causal chakras of humanity. This is particularly important now, as our causal chakra is our connection to the higher dimensions of spirit, the dragons, angels, unicorns, and masters. The white gold dragons from Lyria help to clear and develop our causal chakra and illuminate our highest possible path. Excuse me, our highest possible ascension path. The guidance here says, these white gold dragons are attracted to you now because you are ready to carry Christ's light in your aura. Ask one to take you to the ninth dimensional pool of Christ energy held in, uh, in Lakume. Visualize yourself bathing in the pool, which shimmers and swirls with pure love and light. Feel yourself absorbing all you are ready to receive. When you return, continue to feel the white gold light in your aura and practice pure unconditional love in your daily life. Your aura will radiate the incredibly high frequency of white gold, and the white gold dragon from Lyria will support you by continuing to pour Christ light into you. Take time to find a quiet, still place where you can listen to its wisdom and guidance. That's beautiful, you guys. Alrighty, kids. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy 420. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.